thought I'd make a workout routine for those of you out there who are interested in uh, starting with calisthenics and body weight. Uh, I recommend to warm up before each uh, workout. That's very important. Uh, right here you see some very simple warm up routines. Rotating your arms a bit forwards and backwards. Because uh, most of the body weight exercises are done with your arms, shoulders, and then you have some resistance happening in your neck area, in your shoulders. So you want to warm up those areas as well. For some, it might seem a little bit tedious and uh, might even not look really cool if you step up to the place and start warming up. But uh, it, it is really important. Uh, and also, of course, uh, since calisthenics involves usually involves the whole body, you want to warm up your ladders and your thighs and your lower body. And these are some very simple uh, stretching exercises that can do just that. Alright, so um, our first uh, exercise is to strengthen our um, upper base of the body and chest with some plyo push-ups version I'm doing is a really really beginner style like in lady push-up um, position and then you thrust yourself up for those of you a bit more advanced you can try starting out with a regular push-up uh, position um, yeah but so that you don't hurt yourself I recommend for the beginning just try out this this way uh, it, it can be very uh, demanding as well uh, yeah so do about 10 or 12 repetitions and then you move on to the next exercise. Right, so next up is some exercises for the for the core and the lower body, the lower core um, at the abdominal area. So I'm doing uh, different types right here. You can pick which ones you want to do. What I like doing is sometimes rotating between different types of exercises that uh, work the same area uh, as I go through my sets so these would be the beginner versions if you can't do the normal uh, leg raises and um, if you want to try out these work on your uh, upper ab area just below your chest and the bottom also strengthening your core and you want to do about um, 10 to 12 of these. Next up, we have one of my favorite exercises because it seems that uh, this really targets the biggest area of the body, your, your legs and the upper thigh muscles. So we want to do 20 squats and try and do them as slowly and as clean as you can. Uh, you don't want to have any um, unnecessary torsion um, moving your body. You really want to have the maximum resistance. And this will also help you work your lower abdominal area and just um, and your butt area, which is also important for um, many calisthenic exercises that you will do on the bars outside and in between these um, sets uh, you can take as much break as you want it's up to you um, because since you're doing an upper body and a lower body you're already resting the certain area while you're doing uh, another exercise all right and after this we move to our mountain climbers do 40 seconds of these what I do is I just count, uh, move my legs about four times, and that's like one, two, three, four, and I count till 20. So I know that's approximately 40 seconds. All right, and after all these exercises, the last one is the isometric hold. Uh, this can be very demanding if you haven't done it before and that's why the warming up that we did before is really important. 
because you don't want to pull anything so you hold yourself as if you would be doing a dip and you just hold yourself for as long as you can uh, do this after every um, every time you do these exercises and with time I guarantee it will give you a enormous uh, strength and you'll really notice it after a short time yeah so there you go and don't forget to uh, cool down or do your warm up uh, at the end what I like to do is just power out with the max amount of push ups that I can do um, since this is body weight and um, there is an element of having that will have you get bigger and of course you're, you're burning calories so that's there but most of all these exercises will make you strong and they'll, they'll really strengthen you and for someone if you're just looking into starting with calisthenics or you're actually looking for um, exercises that will get you uh, firm and stronger on the basics um, these are really good basic exercises to start with there are a few more that I'll be posting um, later on but they're a little bit more advanced um, so but this is really for someone if, if you're looking for a nice routine um, doesn't take much time you can just do it in between and uh, you don't need any equipment for it then this is perfect for you just give it a try and best of endurance let me know what you think and uh, share any suggestions you might have good luck